literally raw. Stretch your arms. Stretch your arms. Stretch your arms. Move back. Get off of it. Get off. Get, get off. off of it. Stomach hurting. Right now. Yeah, you're fucking with the van right now. But we're working. We're here. On a um, trip. We're here on a content trip. We're working with Sixth. She's doing an ad for them, um, and we are going to be checking out different spots to review because TikTok. Um, but for now, today we're starting off with our favourites. We're starting off with our favourites. I showed you the go-to's. Go yeah, the go-to. So. Um, earlier on, we went to La California, which is really One of cute, our best spots. really cute lunch it's spot. It's nice. Low key. It's not low key actually. It's not low. It's, it's well known, but it's not like overhyped, yeah. and that's what I like about it. Great people watching, good drinks, good time, great location as well. Um, speaking of location, where we're staying is actually literally perfect. on the like, like, We're like walking distance from literally everything that we need to be. Yeah. Um, you've got Laura Piana here, you've got Ferragamo on the other side. And everything else that we're doing is outside of the city, so we'll be driving yeah. uh, with a car that we got from Sixth, which I will show you guys. Once but for now, maybe tonight. Maybe tonight, but for now we're just walking because we're quite close to where we need to be. We're going to Annex Beach, Beach Club, Club for lunch. 270 yards. Okay. We were supposed to be there at 1.30, that was never going to happen. And then we moved it to 3, it's now almost 4 o'clock. Hopefully they still let us in. So we were right there, which is, this road is called La Croisette, which is where all the shopping district is, where the port is right behind us, and all the beach clubs are lined up here. And one of the beach clubs that we want to try out is actually just behind us, but today we're going to an, an oldie but a goodie, Annex Beach Club. Really excited for that. So far, <laughs> so we went 
to La California for drinks, should do that. And then we had lunch at Annex and really enjoyed it. Um, that DJ? The DJ was humping. He did what he had to do. Um, and we were shazamming like the whole time, like, okay, banger, okay, like this, I like that. He was really good. So he's kind of got us excited for the rest of the trip. But um, it is is good like it's so good to be back it's boiling it was like 33 earlier and like it felt like 33 you know sometimes there's like that breeze that kind of like makes it feel like a 24 or something no it felt it felt as hot as it was but we made it we came back and we had to nap <laughs> we literally had to just lie down and I heard Cass waking me up like at least four times because I really probably would have slept until the morning. Because I was tired. We haven't slept since Wednesday. I haven't slept since Wednesday. Yeah. Night, and that was three hours. That Thursday night, we were packing because, as I mentioned before, it was quite last minute this trip. So we didn't really have enough time to plan and pack everything. So a lot of it was the night before. But we're here now. We are getting ready for dinner. We're going to LPM, which I've never been to, but I've heard very, very good reviews. Um, but one thing that I'm, I wanted to know, ooh, but one thing I wanted to know is that the LPM that you see in London is not the LPM that you see in Cannes. So La Petite Maison and LPM are not linked at all and I think we're actually going to La Petite Maison and not LPM I'll actually have to double check because but they go by both it's annoying like mm -hmm. you might as well do a merger you serve the same foods as well legit the menu literally identical um but the good thing about this trip obviously if you watch the wilderness world you know that we usually fight for time we are literally right next to La Croisette, so most of the things that we've booked in Cannes is like walking distance away from us, so we can literally walk there. We obviously have the car if we want to, but we don't really need to, which is great. Um, so I would highly suggest if you are coming to stay here, stay quite close to yeah. where you're going to be eating, which most of them are on the same strip anyway. Um, oh, I really like this. I really like this lip combo. Oh my god, I'm upset. I like mine. <laughs> um, what are you using? Um, NYX Madeline. And I decided. Oh my god, I have to pick that up. Though, yeah, I decided I hated it one day and I, I like it again. You be capping. Yeah, I'm capping. Um, when we get to dinner, we are going to sit down and take some pictures. We actually got content today. We said we were going to get content. Hi. How cute does she look? We said we were going to get content. We got content. We're very proud of ourselves. I'm going to try and get some evening content this evening, but don't hold me to. Um, and tomorrow, Cass has a friend who is also out here. And she's here with two of her other friends. So we were like, we should link up before, because we're going to Saint-Tropez in two days. And then we're going to Antibes as well. We were like, let's do something together. And then we were looking at yacht rentals and we better forget that. We, yeah, we, we booked um we booked a boat this afternoon for tomorrow. And I'm so excited. I'm really excited. Um I think the last time we did a yacht together was Marbella. Marbella in 2021. So that should be good. When we did the yacht last time, guys, hmm. there was no music, the Bluetooth wasn't working. We were in the yacht, singing songs, taking naps. So she made sure she double checked, triple checked that the sound is working, the sound system is alive and well. Um, so that we can really do enjoyment. Gonna be I'm a piano in these Mediterranean seas, boy. Ooh, I'm ready. So we're in the parking, we've come to a car. 
and we came in clothes so obviously remember I was wearing this earlier and I wore some trousers to walk with flat shoes so that we can just breeze through because walking in hills in that busy busy place mm -hmm. hun not my portion um and so we're getting changed in the parking lot and I feel like this is one of the smartest things we've Honestly, ever done. If you see this, don't shout. <laughs> this is one of the smart there's no one here, obviously. Um and we just bought like our change of clothes and if we need to cover our private parts we'll just go in the car. Obviously the windows are tinted. That is top tip number one. The second top tip is bring oil and bring cream. Bring oil, bring cream because this place <laughs> there's a lot of sand on the floors. Top tip number three is if you are someone that forgets your parking place, get an air tag and put it in your hire car for your trip so that you can always like locate your car. We've been fine because ours has been quite easy to use, but I would recommend that. Anyway, I'm going to get changed and I'll see you on the other side. Actually, no, tell a lie. So you snaked me. You snaked me. Huh? You haven't had your bread. I never told you that I was eating bread. No, but it's been on your plate for a minute. You have to join me. You? Yes, please. Ali, <laughs> okay. Good morning, getting ready at 10 a.m. When we go up at, at 5, they don't want to see you wake up fresh as a daisy, ready to start your day. I thought that I'd be a lot tired, more tired. Hmm, maybe I am. I'm missing out my words at this. But I thought I'd be a lot more tired than I actually am. Alright. Tell her that when I first woke up, I was thinking, bruh, I don't know. But we're here now, we're getting ready. We are doing the boat day today. Um, but first, um, we're going to go to La Croisette and take some content. We were supposed to go to breakfast. Um, there's a place that's very close like literally 10 second walk from where we're staying but no we're not doing that CBA um so we're gonna go to La Croisette there are a few content ideas I had um and then we're gonna take content of ourselves I guess and that way it's just out of the way and we're not like rushing to do it on the last few days um because we still have two more days but we want to pace ourselves so it's better to just wake up early get it out the way and start the day um yesterday we went to um annex which i showed you so probably spoke to you guys after that and really good we didn't actually get a lounger but i would highly recommend if you're staying there get a lounger on the beach and just chill after your meal um because on the beach and it's such a good view as well like it's gorgeous um and then we came back chilled for a bit and then got ready to go to la petite maison which was so good like the food good portions good prices like in comparison to this area or this city i guess um and good service really really good service we were waited by dimitri he was a one so good that he got us um wristbands to get into palm beach and we had all access for the whole of the club for free um 
So yeah, when you're in Cannes, tip your waiters, guys. <laughs> you never know what you'll get in return. Palm Beach was a vibe. We planned to stay there for like 45 minutes. Um, we left at 4 a.m. But, you know, we can't predict the future, can we? I feel like we do that a lot. We'll be like, yeah, no, literally, we're just going to dinner and we're going to come back. We're just going to listen to the sugar babes and we're going to come back. Nope. Nope. That is never the case. The light in here is terrible. And my lips are dry. <laughs> Behind you, just do one arm at a time. Put your stomach on the belly of the. Trust it, trust it, trust it. You might dip a lip a little bit, but you'll be okay. Trust it, trust it. There you go. Stretch your arms out straight. Stretch your arms. Stretch your arms. Stretch your arms. Move back. Get off of it. Get off. Get off. Stomach only. There you go. Don't accelerate too much. Just press, press it lightly. Press the red one a little bit. Right one. There you yeah. go. Relax your arms. Relax it. Stretch your arms out. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Now, now press it. So it's Wait, I drank so much water. Okay, but don't talk. <laughs> press the right button. There you go. Yeah. Or the left. Yeah. The red one. Until the screen says one. Does yeah. the screen say one? Now she's on okay, the Okay, now press press the acceleration. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then as you get comfortable, increase it. You did drink a lot of water. She's sorry. still drinking it. Close your mouth. Sorry. She's still talking. She almost went under. I know. <laughs> yeah. Make um when you put your body, make sure the thing don't put your body on it because it makes put it. Put it up, down. yeah. Put it up. Tilt yeah, it up, make yeah. It be out, yeah. So it can stay above water. And careful the rope. Don't pump, don't pump, just, yeah, mind your legs up. All right, now go again. Don't put your weight on the machine or the machine is going to go down. Trust it, just float, Claude. I wish you saw us do it first. I know, yeah. <laughs> and then turn, there you go. You got it, girl. <laughs> I'm so sad that we're going back now. Hey guys, we're back. We're back. Excuse me, please don't judge the wig. We've been in water, we've been in salt, we've been in everything. I haven't had to wipe my wake up off. But guess who still had energy later on after my little nap <laughs> to go into the water? That was so fun. That power jet thing was so fun. So good. You done what yesterday? <laughs> Where? But, wow. Having a good time. Tomorrow we're going to Antibes. Are we? No, uh, we're going to Cap Ferrat. Cap Ferrat. Which is basically back here again. Yeah. So now we're in Beausoleil, which is cl not far from Monaco actually. Yeah, we're very like near the But border. we don't have time to go there. No, we've got to... Listen, again, those reservations, we told you, it was no joke. Not a joke. Um, but I'm going to close my eyes until we get to the shore. I'm not even <laughs> far from it. Yeah, we're, we're literally about to pull up. See ya. I can't believe I was seasick earlier, but I feel like I'm always seasick when I come to France. French water makes me feel like I'm about to collapse, and I don't know why. 
I'm fine literally everywhere else. But we move. Every time that I have felt seasick in... Every time that I have felt seasick in France, um, I've kept it stepping. Took a little nap and we move. Luckily, both days are usually like, what, four hours. So even if I take a half an hour nap, I don't feel like I'm wasting time. But I'm so glad. Today was so good. Let me move away from the sun. Um, today was so good. Um, and we're only halfway through the day. Halfway through the trip. I'm having such a good time. Um, and I hope I've been helpful so far. I feel like all we've done is eat, but that's all we really come to can to do is eat and turn up really and truly. Coming to do anything else. You might get bored. <laughs> Um, I think when it comes to things to do, your best bet is probably to stay in Nice or to go to the other side, which is more like the Ez and the Monaco sides, which I'm actually going to in a couple of weeks and I, I'm definitely going to vlog that as well. Um, so subscribe if you haven't yet, so you know, you know when I'm posting that and um, Hopefully I can help you out with um, your trip and make it as fun as possible. I am going to try and link everything as well. I will watch it back anyway. Um, and as I'm saying it, I'm going to write everything down. Because I know that when I'm travelling, I like everything to just be itinerary. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to take a nap and my battery is about to die. So. trip today we did a road trip yesterday but we've actually done a second road trip to the same place we were at well we went to Beausoleil yesterday which is about 15 minutes probably max from here today we're at Cap Ferrat we're going to the Four Seasons for lunch and we're early we're half an hour early which is good because it means that we can fit a few more things in so we're probably gonna go for a cute little walk um, closer to the place um, just check the place out have our lunch. Oh, yesterday. Yesterday, we went to Antibes um, to try out the Mamo um, Michelangelo restaurant. It's a, it's a new Italian restaurant that <clears throat> I've seen a lot of people hyping up. But I don't know. I don't know. I felt like the service was really slow. The tables were joined up like we were in a school cafeteria. I was so confused by that. There was some lady's bag like right there like i could have literally next just... to my sparkling water it was very weird and um i didn't love the meat but i loved everything else so i wouldn't not recommend it but i would just say if you go just don't order the meat i think you had chicken but you liked the chicken yeah the chicken you? was so good baby chicken yeah and yeah good really nice i guess maybe skip the red meat i don't know the way italians cook red meat is weird anyway so what was I expecting but everything else was really good we finally had burrata we've been mentioning that we're gonna have some burrata on this trip and that was so good um, and we had it with red wine yesterday um, which we didn't finish we didn't finish the bottle we nor did we finish our food again we never finish our food though we have like a whole restaurant in our fridge at the moment so whenever we're feeling peckish when we're back which we, which never, we do never do because we never have time so i don't understand how we don't eat um, my size ain't okay cool never mind <laughs> intrusive thoughts <laughs> but um yeah so today 
is a more chill day um and we're kind of switching up a few of the things that we want to do tomorrow but i don't want to say anything and jinx ourselves so we'll see how that goes <laughs> um but we're gonna head up to cafe right now while well, we're here but we're gonna go for a little walk, -walk. concert he's just come out someone just sent me a video and he came down in the helicopter and i'm not there because i'm in france so guess what we're having our own little ashake concert in the car on the way to dinner so we booked the wrong place we booked the la mom that i mentioned to you guys before that was right next to us rather than the plage one obviously the one on the beach which is the one I wanted we wanted to go to yeah we could have actually walked there but we we're in hills and that's also if we've got the car shout out to Sid. use it yep yeah, using BMW from sixth so we're gonna make our way um oh, we have, go, 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 go. oh yeah actually no I think cute. they're going to um oh that girl one. is moving her hips, hips honey yeah. um we had lunch at um, in Cap Ferrat. I tried to record so much of it um, because I feel like you guys need to take yeah, it. Yeah, like it was so beautiful, so beautiful, and I don't know how to describe it without just showing you guys. And then we came back and we had loads of time <laughs> because obviously it was downstairs, and we were we were an hour late. I don't know how we did it. Well, we're now we're joining our friends actually. Yeah. We're joining their booking at the beach, even though it was 45 minutes ago, but uh, we're getting there. But yeah, peace out. Bye. I was looking forward to it quite a lot and the food was 
very. It was like medium. mid is even like but, um, underwhelming. Yeah, it was so bad. And mm. the, the meat was terrible. The octopus that I ordered was overcooked. The lamb that one of the other girls, um, it was literally raw. I've got videos and pictures of her trying it, and it was so bad. It was like a if you were to like mash lamb and then try to put it into a tempura roll, that's what it was. Um, how was your meat? It was just bland and overcooked as well. It wasn't overcooked, but I can taste the grill and it was very hard. There was no moisture, there was no jus coming from my steak. Like, it was just a waste of time. Um, the sea bass was apparently really good, but I think that's the only person that actually enjoyed their meal, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a really big fan of the menu. It was really nice and they were very understanding. Um, even though I found, actually, I, I, have, I found a hair in my octopus, so I definitely, I wouldn't recommend that. Um, and I'm not going back. I don't think it's worth it. There's so many nice places yeah. if you want to do the more dressier type of dinners. Um, I think this is on probably my favourite of this trip so far. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just, I wouldn't go back. Today, we are at Eden Rock and we're about to have our meal now and then after we're going to head over to San Jose um, to end our trip and then we're making our way back to the airport. Sad times. Hello. So we are in San Tropez. We're actually on the side road right now. But I'll show you how beautiful it is in a second. I don't know how we've managed to do the whole coastline in, what has it been, four days. So we've done Antibes, we've done Cannes, we've done Cap Ferrat, and now we are in San Tropez. This is actually my first time here and I love it. It's just so like chill. It is so chill, very like easy going, there's no noise. It's so different to like La Croisette. Very, very different. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go into Chanel now to see if Cass can pick up something and then we're gonna start making our way to a beach club if we can find it. Um, and then our journey ends. I know, I can't believe we're reaching the end. Oh my goodness, there's one fly that is really following me around. <laughs> Hello, it's the end of our trip. Oh my God, I'm so shiny. <laughs> it's the end of our trip. We just went to Saint-Tropez for the day. Um, and the last time I spoke to you, we were about to go for a quick stroll. And that was gorgeous. The place is so lovely. I was just telling Kat how I love how it's so beautiful without being like super modern and bougie i think like taking a break from that sometimes is nice because it's very traditional it's very french um and everyone kind of just minds their business like no one's like trying to do more than anyone or trying to flex or anything everyone's yeah. literally like just... even how people are dressed isn't it mm -hmm. like... everyone's just very like chill casual the restaurants aren't like super extravagant you can literally wear normal dress slippers um and just people watch at the port um speaking of slippers Cass actually picked up a pair of Hermes slippers in all white the orange and um happy about that yeah i am i needed that mm -hmm. because um they're such a cute every day yeah um and finding white in london is impossible in my size impossible um so yeah we're on our way back to the airport now um time crunch as always <laughs> um, but yeah it's been so fun um, I would have showed you Santa Fe but we literally just walked around it was it's just nice to be in the moment yeah. Yeah. but yeah I'm gonna sign out now it's been fun pray for us hopefully we make it back safe Amen. in Jesus name Amen. Um, and tomorrow we're back to work fun times I'll switch that out of office back on <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Bye. Bye.